chapter 12. Now these are the priests and the Levites who came up with Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, Seraiah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Maluk, Hattush, Shechaniah, Rehum, Meremoth, Edo, Ginnathoi, Abijah, Mijamin, Meadiah, Bilgah, Shemaiah, Joerib, Jedeiah, Salu, Amok, Hilkiah, and Jedeiah. These were the heads of the priests and their brethren in the days of Jeshua. Moreover, the Levites were Jeshua, Binuai, Kadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, and Mataniah, who led the thanksgiving psalms, he and his brethren. Also Babukiah and Unai, their brethren, stood across from them in their duties. Jeshua begot Joachim, Joachim begot Eliashib, Eliashib begot Joiada, Joiada begot Jonathan, and Jonathan begot Jadua. Now in the days of Joiakim, the priests, the heads of the fathers' houses, were Sarai, Mariah of Jeremiah, Hananiah of Ezra, Meshulam of Amariah, Jehohanan of Melachu, Jonathan of Shebaniah, Joseph of Herim, Adna of Mireoth, Helkai of Edo, Zechariah of Ginnithon, Meshulam of Abijah, Zikrai, the son of Minjamin, of Moadiah, Hiltai, of Bilgah, Shamua, of Shemaiah, Jehonathan, of Joerib, Matanai, of Jedeiah, Uzai, of Selai, Kelai, of Amok, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, and of Jedeiah, Nathanael. During the reign of Darius the Persian, a record was also kept of the Levites and priests who had been heads of their fathers' houses in the days of Eliashib, Joiada, Johanan, and Jadua, the sons of Levi, the heads of the fathers' houses, until the days of Johanan, the son of Eliashib, were written in the book of the Chronicles. And the heads of the Levites were Hashabiah, Sherebiah, and Jeshua, the son of Kadmiel, with their brothers across from them to praise and give thanks group alternating with group, according to the command of David the man of God. Mataniah, Babukiah, Obadiah, Meshulam, Talmun, and Akub were gatekeepers keeping the watch at the storerooms of the gates. These lived in the days of Joachim, the son of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and in the days of Nehemiah, the governor, and of Ezra the priest, the scribe. Now at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places, to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgiving and singing, with cymbals and stringed instruments and harps. And the sons of the singers gathered together from the countryside around Jerusalem, from the villages of the Netophathites, from the house of Gilgal, and from the fields of Geba and Asmaveth, for the singers had built themselves villages all around Jerusalem. Then the priests and Levites purified themselves and purified the people, the gates, and the wall. So I brought the leaders of Judah up on the wall and appointed two large thanksgiving choirs. One went to the right hand on the wall toward the refuse gate. After them went Hoshaiah and half of the leaders of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, Meshulam, Judah, Benjamin, Shemaiah, Jeremiah, and some of the priest's sons with trumpets. Zechariah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zakur, the son of Asaph, and his brethren, Shemaiah, Azarel, Milalai, Gilalai, Mei, Nathanel, Judah, and Hanani, with the musical instruments of David the man of God, Ezra the scribe went before them. By the fountain gate in front of them they went up the stairs of the city of David, on the stairway of the wall beyond the house of David as far as the water gate eastward. The other thanksgiving choir went the opposite way, and I was behind them with half of the people on the wall going past the tower of the ovens, as far as the broad wall. And above the gate of Ephraim, above the old gate, above the fish gate, the tower of Hananel, the tower of the hundred, as far as the sheep gate, and they stopped by the gate of the prison. So the two thanksgiving choirs stood in the house of God, likewise I and the half of the rulers with me. And the priests, Eliakim, Measeiah, Minjamin, Micaiah, Elioenai, Zechariah and Hananiah with trumpets, also Measeiah, Shemaiah, Eleazar, Uzai, Jehohanan, Malkijah, Elam, and Ezer. The singers sang loudly with Jezrahiah the director. Also that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The 
the women and the children also rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard afar off. And at the same time some were appointed over the rooms of the storehouse for the offerings, the first fruits and the tithes, to gather into them from the fields of the cities the portions specified by the law for the priests and Levites. For Judah rejoiced over the priests and Levites who ministered. Both the singers and the gatekeepers kept the charge of their God and the charge of the purification according to the command of David and Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old there were chiefs of the singers and songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. In the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah, all Israel gave the portions for the singers and the gatekeepers, a portion for each day. They also consecrated holy things for the Levites, and the Levites consecrated them for the children of Aaron.